Here are five things to avoid at Indiana University South Bend. Assuming your financial aid is in good hands. Financial aid seems to be lost abyss at IUSB. This school didn't have the worst process of the three I attended, but I did have to visit the financial aid office more here than at any of the others. The good news is that they have plenty of scholarships as long as you have the patience to navigate the process in general. The Cafeteria IUSB does have a cafeteria where you can grab a quick bite to eat or have a cup of coffee in between classes, but they don't really have much of a selection, and for a place that actually knows how broke college students are, their prices are incredibly high. If you really need to eat right then, pay the cafeteria a visit. Otherwise, keep in mind that you are right outside of downtown South Bend, Indiana, and there are plenty of other places to eat. Living outside the area. Personally, I was a single mom with a child while in school, so I couldn't just pack up and move to South Bend. Instead, I drove an hour each way to get to my classes because I lived pretty far outside the area. However, IUSB has apartments that are just a bridge away from the campus. Those apartments are really affordable and seem to be very comfortable for those who rented them. Since you get to share the costs and you may even be able to pair up with friends you already have before you start college, this is a far better financial option than living away from the college. Taking hard classes the first semester. Your goal is to have the highest GPA you can, so you need to be proactive about making that happen. You might be looking at your potential college schedule like you looked at your dinner plate when you were a kid, get the worst stuff out of the way first. However, when it comes to your GPA, you don't really want to do that. Instead, you want to start with a solid foundation that you can build upon, not repair later. Working on homework on the dining area computers. There are a few computers located right outside the dining hall. At first glance, this looks like an ideal place to get some homework done in between classes while you have a snack. Unfortunately, it doesn't usually work out that way. While you're hoping to catch up on some homework, the student on the terminal next to you is busy taking a break with some social networking games. This happened to me every single time. So for more tips and tricks on colleges and universities, check out our website.